Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here from Visualize DNZ and a very warm welcome to those who might be coming to my channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy the video. So today is Monday, for me at least, uh, in the Southern Hemisphere here in New Zealand and it's time for the Deal It Up Challenge. So I'm going to head right into it, we are working with four prompts today as you may see here. If you're, you are new and this is the first time you've seen this challenge, um, just keep watching, you'll pick it up. It's quite simple. I pull however many prompts for the stack of cards I got, I've got in front of me and then we make according to the prompts. So our first prompt is something that is black and white. Okay, our second prompt... Just giving these a wee shuffle as I go, not too worried about getting them super mixed up, um, especially these ones because there's not a lot of cards in the, in the set. Um, okay, we're going to include our favourite colour. So we've got black and white and our favourite colour. That's cool. And our third prompt today, let's go the one at the very bottom, is we're going to use a stencil. So far, so good. Right, and this last set is going to be what we're making today. So what item for our journals is it going to be? I feel like there should be a drum roll. And let's go, oh that one, that one seemed to be hiding, so let's go with that. We are making a journal card. Okay, nice easy thing to make, isn't it? So first off, I always, when I'm looking at these prompts, I always start off with what is my base for whatever we're making. So I want a base for a journal card. Um, typically, I would grab out a glue page that I've glued on and then torn it from my book and then just folded it in half but I'm wondering about doing something a little bigger this time um, so I'm wondering about just going for a full-sized page so this is Reader's Digest condensed book so and so this what I would normally use is this folded in half, but I'm wanting to do a nice big one, so I'm going to do that today. So I'll just tuck that other one back in the in the bin. Um, so that's going to be my base. I might will I trim it? It's a straight edge, but it's a little um, tilt over. No, I think it'll be fine. Um, so I probably will back it off camera, you know, because that's. You just throw a bit of paper on the back to cover it to write on, so it's not terribly difficult or mysterious. So I'm just kind of organising myself here. Favourite colour. So I have a little bundle of goodies here that one of my beautiful subbies sent to me. And it was loaded with bits and pieces of my favourite colour, which is this beautiful deep red. So there's some lovely tissue. Um, there's this book page, I think it is, book page piece with the beautiful dahlias. And then I think the other bits are bits of ephemera that are made up. So it'll be either of those two, I think. I'm thinking I might tend towards the tissue, but I'll I'll leave both out for now because this is already cut into a beautiful tag with a a pocket down the bottom. So maybe we'll put that back and we'll use the tissue. Uh, so that's my favourite colour. So I'm just popping the cards aside as we go. Something that is black and white. I'm going to have to hunt for that. So while I'm thinking, I might grab out a stencil. Um, so this is my folder that I keep all my stencils in. What pattern or design am I thinking today? Really not sure. Um, just going to have a wee quick flick. As you can see, they are not perfectly cleaned. 
I try to clean them but sometimes I'm busy and put them away and forget to, to go back and clean them. I've got this pretty leaf one which I really like but how about we go for do we want this kind of zebra pattern or these like stone pattern I'll take both of them out we can decide later okay so that's my stencil oops just threw my base on the floor right something that was black and white that might be my sticking point today I've got my well one of my boxes of um, fussy cut well actually they're not fussy cut of magazine clippings most of them need fussy cutting well there's a little there's a little something but I was hoping for something a bit bigger so Railway illustration. That could could be interesting. The skeleton. Don't feel like a skeleton today. These this top lot is all from um, National Geographics. Just having a quick wee flick through. This is another black and white illustration of building something not sure what they're building probably a little big uh, and then we get into my bags of sorted things which aren't sorted according to color they're sorted according to topic so i'm just going to go through the loose stuff at the bottom see if there's anything else which i suspect not all tend to be quite colourful. Oh, what about this? That's a bomb with tick tick boom. Probably not something we'll put on a journal card. That's more for like a, a collage, like Marguerite Miller collage sort of prompt, possibly, if something like that comes up. Probably not the message I want to put on a journal card. I don't know. Would you like to receive a journal card with tick tick boom on it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you would. Maybe it would hit exactly the right note. Right. I'm not finding anything else in there. So all I've got is these, this image and this little image. Um, what else? I do have a whole National Geographic here. Oh, no, don't like that image. It's got some black and white photos. He's a rather serious looking dude, isn't he? I mean, some of these images could be quite good. Actually, this one could be interesting. I'm going to pull that one. Oh, that's a possibility. That's a bit big. That's quite a nice portrait. Oh, that one's lovely too. Oh, oh, Paris, bit big, but I like it. I might have to use that in a Marguerite Miller one that I was looking for a famous city image for a famous city prompt, and that might be actually what I end up using for that. So, won't pull that one. Is there anything else? Here's a magazine. Just a modern one I picked up oh, last week, I think. Or the week before. Just have a quick little flick through. See if anything sort of sparks. This is quite cool. Might grab that. It's just a little jug. Black and white jug. Pottery jug on a black and white checked pottery dish so i'm not sure what size i need so i'm going to grab that as well there's lots of black and white ads it's kind of cool but probably not for this just 
flicking through it really quickly. Pink, no, not the colour we're after. That's black and white, but I have no idea what it is. A black and white photo. Black and white art piece, but again, I think for the size of our journal card, it's going to be too small. This is quite interesting. As you can see, I'm not being terribly um, thorough in my flick through. Just seeing if anything struck me. And it didn't really, so I think we'll work with what we've got. So, first up, our tissue. Just going to tear a bit. Yeah, that's enough to work with, I think. Can I see the text through it? A little bit, but not bad. Okay. So I definitely want some of that, but I don't want just the tissue. So let's grab something else out. This is a bit of a um, magazine page. It's got, works in really nicely with the colours there. But I think I'd like a bit of contrast as well. Sorry, just digging through my bag of scraps here. This is a bit of wrapping paper. But I don't think I want shiny. Okay, that can go back in. It's another bit of magazine something or other. crumpled bit of scrapbook paper and some pinky paper okay let's see let's see what we can do with all this so I think I'd like to use this I'm going to tear off where that writing is going to do a bit of collage to work on the base and let's just pop that up there now I am going to use oh, mm, no, actually maybe I'll use a combination of glues I was just going to use tacky glue but let's go glue stick in the middle because it's uh, quite a thick magazine paper this one And then take your glue around the edges. Oops, those stencils are under my arm and getting in my way, so I'm going to have to move those. And just a little bit tacky in the middle. I didn't want shiny because when I put, uh, when I do stenciling, I don't want to sort of have it rubbing off and getting all over me and making a mess so just pop the stencils up there we've got a bit of tissue i think i'll put the tissue on last so i need something up here do i want a bit of this i think so just a bit of book page which i've um added some ink to I called it painty paper, but it's actually ink. It's got a bit of glue, glob of glue stuck on it, dry glue. Let's pop that up there. It's a nice little splash of colour, and I will use glue stick for that. So, I seem to be going down the warm colour route today, given that my favourite colour is this beautiful deep red I actually really enjoy when it's the favourite colour prompt comes out because you know we've all got different favourite colours and 
okay lots of people like blue or lots of people like green or whatever but it means you get a variety across the makes just because people have different favorite colors and then they have different materials or images or whatever that of their favorite color so straight away you've got that difference between how everybody does their the lit up challenge okay i'm going to put that down a little bit and will i i just noticed it talks about bombs up there how did i have that first did i have it up that far i'm sure i had it around the other way now i've got myself all confused must have been that way that's crazy okay something like that I know it was lying differently but I can't seem to work out how it was sitting differently so we'll just go with it like that I think I'll put another bit down this down in the bottom corner uh, actually I'll use that straight bit down there so how is everyone today how was your weekend did you get up to anything exciting it was a very wet Saturday here it started off not too bad um, so my husband and I took a run down to the recycling centre and took all our recycling down because it had mounted up quite significantly. So we dealt with that, which was fun. And then we came back and I wanted to go to the local um, op shop or thrift shop um, that I've never been to. Like it's been open, it opened this year sometime. Um, and I'd never been to it and I thought oh, I just feel like going and I didn't have a lot of money I mean nobody has a lot of money these days do you that's just the climate we're in um, so we went down so we had a cuppa um, once we'd done the recycling because the shop wasn't open yet and then when the shop was open we headed on down and I was looking for craft stuff and I did get a couple of bits but I didn't expect to walk away with clothes that I did. Because oh, I wasn't going for clothing. But they were having a... Um, they had a sales rack right at the front of the shop. And everything on the rack was marked down to $2. Can you believe it? $2. And so I just... Uh, you know, I wasn't really aiming to get anything. But just started flicking through. And I came across a pure wool coat in red so sort of brighter than this red a very vivid red um, but pure wool and lined you know and in excellent condition absolutely fabulous I tried it on and it fitted I just put it over top of my hoodie and everything which meant that you know I was quite bulky because you know, would, wouldn't normally put it over top of a hoodie but it still fitted um, and it was two dollars so I grabbed that and I also grabbed another top which looked pretty much brand new okay so I need something in here I don't think I'll use this bit because it's kind of like would be glaring in terms of its difference oh just trying to put it back in the bag so it's out of my space okay maybe another Bit of this or do we need something else maybe this darker bit because i don't want that text um yeah a top that looked basically brand new and a big long very heavy it goes to about my knees um cardigan jackety type thing now it's old it was it's been well worn it's got all sorts of pilling over it yeah, like that, I think. Um, now, try and get it back in the right position will be the interesting. 
so it's really well worn it's obviously been well loved it's got lots of pulls on it but I get really cold at home and I thought it just felt so heavy and soft and lovely so two dollars like I'll just wear it around home in winter of course um because I thought it was just cuddly and and when we were in the shop that's when the rain arrived and started raining and it just it just seemed to be the right time so for six dollars I picked up three items of clothing one of which was actually incredibly valuable um, the, the wool coat would have been in the hundreds when it was new so that was quite exciting and then I picked up a pack of snap the card game snap um, which is a nations one so it's got different nationalities on each card so there's New Zealand Maori there's uh, Spanish uh, Mexican um, yeah, all sorts of different nationalities. Scottish, I think, is represented. Um, so just a bit of fun. And that cost me a couple of dollars. And then I picked up a book. A, oops. Busy tearing this as I talk. Um, a gardening book for New Zealand and Australia, which has beautiful, beautiful um, pastel illustrations in it. Just super lovely so I picked that up and that cost me three dollars which I was very happy with so I didn't spend on intend on spending any more than just a few dollars really but I walked out spending 11 which you know oops that wasn't wise was it let's see what I can do to fix this it did have a hole in the middle there to begin with and I'm just not paying enough attention there we go. I think think I've rescued it. Just go a bit more carefully, I think. Oh. Lovely. That's cool. I'm happy with that. So we can pop out coloured bits and pieces aside. Right, I really love this, but like it's it's just gonna be ridiculously lost, isn't it? there's just no point in that now I could make this a double journal card fold it over so it's one that opens up um, but do I want to like use these fellows and make like a masculine one I do have some pink there that's okay or do I want to use this lovely railway line illustration I would have to go that way, I think. I really like these these two gentlemen. So, what's on the other side? No, she looks... Not a great photo. Not a fan of that photo. She looks quite sad. And the quality of the photo itself wasn't that brilliant. You know, given that it's old as well. I'm just going to the lid on my glue stick and do I want to square cut his elbow actually goes outside the frame so I think I'm just going to whip around in a loose just a loose fussy cut not getting too worried about if I cut something off or you know trim too much of his jacket off or something or go in all the curves just going to roughly fussy cut and around the hair I'm just going to give him a little bit of hair cut I won't cut his nose off won't give him a nose job he doesn't look like he needs a nose job So just a little bit more care around the faces. You know, I don't want to lose an eye. I'm not going to maim 
permanently main anyone. So yeah, so that was our Saturday morning. Um, very happy with my purchases. And then we just had a quiet rest of the day. I spent the afternoon coffee dyeing papers because I was getting really low. So I did a lot of coffee dyeing. Um, took so long. Like I thought, oh yeah, you know, I've spent a couple of hours. Well, I started after lunch and I didn't finish until... Um, oh, probably half past eight, nine o'clock. I, I just, it just took ages. And then I looked at the stash I got because I thought, oh, I've done heaps. And I looked at it the next day. So Sunday I looked at it and I was like, oh, it doesn't look like much. I need to do more. And it's like, yeah, well, it's very time consuming, especially the way I do it, I guess, because I dry it on top of the fire. So I have to you know, be quite attentive, and as one piece dries, I take it off, replace it with another one, so it's very sort of hands-on, I, I don't hang it up and just let it dry, it's, um, you know, I need to make sure it doesn't catch fire, because it overheats or something, so yeah, so that was my Saturday and Sunday, it was another quiet day, church in the morning, and yeah, this is Sunday as I'm recording this, so it's only half over. Hubby's gone for a nap. Okay, so their legs are chopped off, so they either need to go in the bottom or we need to put them on something. Like standing behind something. Okay, we need to stencil, I think, before we put them on, though. So do we want... I'm thinking this one. This says more kind of man vibe to me I don't know more masculine uh, what colour I think I'm going to go vintage photo just because it's handy I don't know it just to me it seems like it would be a good choice to partner with the red and the black and white Yeah, yeah. Putting sponge crumbs everywhere. This is really hard on the sponge doing this stencil, especially because I'm rubbing reasonably hard. Oh, you can barely see it over there. Oh, well. Be a bit down here as well. Yeah, there we go. That's stenciling. Okay, put that aside and try and remember to clean it before I put it away. I'm just going to have a quick sip of my cup of tea and throw my rubbish in the bin at the same time. Oh, my tea's almost cold. So I poured my tea and then discovered that the inside of our jug needed to clean out. It was full of calcium deposit and it was all in my cup of tea. So I had to strain my tea, then deal with the jug. And so by the time I sat down, my tea was already half cold. Do I want a little bit more over there? Maybe a little bit, just to tone down that pink a little bit. Yeah, there we go given that we seem to be heading down a masculine track here. Okay, what do I want to stand them on? Or behind, really? They'd be behind, like, it's almost like I need a really long label. I don't know that I've got one to hand. Sorry about the squeaky chair. But... gonna have a look in my stamps and it's not long enough see if we've got anything that would be long enough to go under them that makes sense kind of kind of makes sense oh what about this this is a multi-ticket stamp it's got lots of different yeah let's go with that so 
so color hmm Coffee, sepia, red. I think red would be too much red. Black might be the best option, I think. Okay, let's grab a block out. There we go. And some paper. I think I want brown paper. Is that going to be long enough? Yep, that's long enough. Okay. I'm just going to carefully slide it and pick it up and press it in just to make sure I get a nice impression there. It's a bit dodgy doing this. Quite often I end up with a um, like a double impression because I've moved it in the process, but sometimes it works perfectly. Yep, that's fine. It's not as dark perhaps as what I would choose, but that's okay left on that stamp okay again just gonna give it a quick oh now do I want square cut like just rectangle I think it would be more fun if I did some actually did round the shape maybe with a little border so not right up to the stamped image A little bit more interesting following the contour of the stamp. Won't take long. You can see I'm not being very careful here the beauty of leaving a border and just go a little bit faster and not be so precise there we go and I'm gonna just ink around the edge off camera just so I'm not covering my work surface in crumbs after that rough stenciling I did Might just have to buy myself a new one, I think. New sponge. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking I need some more around or behind. So these tickets here are basically the same or similar to what's around here. So why don't we grab put this one back on the sheet. Maybe a couple of different ones and thinking about in colours. We've got orange, so maybe orange. Let's try orange. We can yeah, we can always just do it again and use a different colour if orange doesn't look good. So I'm thinking maybe a Oh, yeah, because the brown paper kind of changes the colour of the stamp a little bit as well. Um, stamp off the orange. I'm thinking of doing this, doing the same one or different ones. Um, there's this squiggle in the tissue is actually blue. So I'm thinking of using navy. which may look black, but let's go with it. I'm 
may look black on the, the dark brown. No, it doesn't. So that's all right. Um, what else? Because I'm thinking three. Um, maybe I need to use a different one. So three different stamps, three different colours. Maybe that's maybe that's what I need. Um, so what colour? So they're going to be pink, red, I think red will be okay because it's, because it's not just everything red, we'll just have one red. It was like the perfect bit of paper that I pulled out for this. Yeah, there we go. Right, clean those off properly later. Right. Cut these out quickly. Actually, I can probably do this with my big scissors. Again, I'm just going to leave it a little bit of a border, I think. And then I'm thinking maybe I need to add a word to this. There are words on these tickets, but yeah, just thinking a word might be nice. Okay, this one, this ticket's got little um, curves out of it. So I'm going to take my hole punch tool and do that for those. As does this one's got little semicircles out of it, the ends. No, all right, square. Oh, where? Where was it? What have I done with it? Sorry for reaching, people. Well, it doesn't look I'm going to be hole punching because my hole punch is not where I keep it. And I have no idea where it will be if it's not in there. Um, has it fallen on the floor? Has it got caught up with a bundle of papers? Which is probably highly likely. Um, although it's, you know, it's metal and it's not flat. So I'm sure I would have noticed, but maybe not. Because it's definitely not where it's supposed to be. That's disappointing because I really liked using it for doing these bits. Never mind, let's just whip around it with my little fussy cutting scissors. There we go. Yeah, that do actually does look black now. It, it looked blue at first, but now it looks black. Something like that. Oh, that, no, that looks silly with that in the middle. Yep, I'm liking that. Okay. So, I'm not going to ink around our two guys here. I'm going to make sure that they're straight and just going to glue their legs in place. Oh, did I leave my lid off too long? Yeah, I'm on glue. And it's not playing ball. Okay, let's grab my other one. Let's see if this one's okay. Oh, really? Not 
both of them clogged. Oh, that's annoying. Sorry, I'm going to have to take a moment here and unclog my glue bottle. What's the chances of both being clogged up at the same time? There we go, I think it's good now. Yep, there we go. Off and running. Okay. So I'm not fighting them moving all the time. Let's glue them in place. Okay. Now these need a little bit of ink around, so I'm just going to quickly do that again off camera just to keep those crumbs away. So they'll end up in my lap, which is fine. Right, so let's put this one down. Just gave them a light ink, I didn't do a heavy, heavy ink. Behind there. And this one. I'm not too worried about whether I get them exactly where they were. Just kind of a rough guide. Great though. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to finish gluing those guys down. Sorry, lady, you're going to be face to the wall. So to speak. go and then this one down the bottom hiding the bottoms of their legs Right, so have we got everything so far that we need? We have favourite colour, which is red. We have making a journal card. So favourite colour, journal card, something in black and white. We've got the photograph and stencil. We've stenciled in the background. So we've met all the prompts. So anything else is a bonus, like the tickets are a bonus. Um, I'm just not sure if I've got an appropriate word. So let's look at my stamped words, maybe. The memories you make today can never be made again. Possibility. Um, harvest of blessings doesn't feel like that fits together. Mm, that kind of sends the wrong message for me. Listen. A little bit small. Beauty is everywhere. Mm, doesn't fit the scene really. Mm, I'm, I'm striking out. You make my heart sore. No. Here's that. Memories you make today can never be. I think I like that. Let's go with that. Go with a quote. And this one's already on its own. And it's also black and white. Black stamping on white paper. So I'm just going to tear it down a little bit more. Oh, it 
difficult to think. Do I want it up there? Right down here. I quite like the layering effect down here. But I think down there it's going to be okay. You know, I wasn't going to ink it, but I am going to because I think I like it. Or like it better inked sitting over top. And then I think we're pretty much done. I will round the corners. Um, but I will do that after I've backed it. Now I feel like, do I need something up here? No, I don't think I do actually. I think it's fine. By the time I round the corners, I think it will be all good. Okay, so there we go. There is my make for the Deal It Up Challenge this week. So just to refresh, I know I just went through it, but we have favourite colour, whatever your favourite colour is. Make a journal card of some description, so it could be be a double journal card it could be a small one a big one uh, whatever use a stencil whatever stencil you have or would like to use and something that is black and white so a magazine image is a really good option for that or you could stamp black on white paper or you could even do white on black paper if you chose um, there we go have fun with it I hope you join in and give it a go and please share with me what you do if you would like to. So you could pop a, a photo in Visual Vibes on Facebook. All the links are down in the description box. You could tag VisualizeDNZ on Instagram or use the hashtag DealItUpChallenge. Um, or if all else fails, if you're not on any of those uh, social media channels, then you can always email me uh, at VisualizeDNZ at gmail.com. So thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you found it inspiring and interesting to watch. Have a great day and I'll be back tomorrow for Trashcraft Tuesday. Take care. Bye for now.